Why? What happened? Yeah, oh, that's a long story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to have this conversation outside? I feel like that we're, we're a little cramped up in here. Yeah, I'll yeah. some fresh air. Yeah, Why you know not? what? I'm going to grab another one. You want one? No, I, I, I feel like I'm good. You need one? You good? Yeah, it's no, no, fresh good now. I just got a freshie. Yeah, that's yeah. fresh. <laughs> you making it? You brewing a beer? You know, maybe I will grab one. Yeah, get just one more for the room. No, no, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. I don't want you to contaminate. I'm not, I'm not contaminated, <laughs> dude. Yeah. You need a koozie too. You, yeah, hook me up. I'll grab your koozie for you. Shut the door behind you. At least it's nice outside, anyway. Beautiful out. We gotta all be like uh, six feet away. Nah, it's beautiful out. So what's going on? I'll tell you what. <coughs> Today has been one of those days. That's for you. Thank it's you. like you know, you know, like, do you ever have one of those WTF days? Oh, yeah, once a week. Yeah, where you just sit back and <laughs> you only. say, "I what the f just no happened?" Doubt. It doesn't. Yeah, today's absolutely. today's that day. You just can't able. believe that like certain things are going that way. You're like, wow. Oh my gosh, really, Joe? I just want to play safe. That's all. Can I swear? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Well, now that you if you insist, I won't touch you outside of it. Will we put some in your hands? Uh, I'll be responsible. So, what happened is Weber came over my house. Yeah, I don't that, know why you're still calling Weber. She's Michael at this point. Let's be honest. He'll always be Weber to me, because right. I mean I've been friends with him for a long time. I get it. I get, it. I, get over, it. I get it. Weber came over and, and he talked to me about he wanted to talk to Joe, right? He told me that Joe he wanted to kind of clear the air with Joe he and everything and try, because they've always been at odds. Good tension with, between these two. At, I don't, yeah, I don't. yeah, uh, at odds with each other, and and I never. I never understood why. I always thought that Joe just didn't like him, and he, for whatever reason, he was rubbing Joe the wrong way. I always thought Weber was right. talking nice to you. I never understood. Most dudes rub me the right way. Did the one or two times I met him, <laughs> I liked him. I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> I didn't have said it the wrong way. Um, it came out wrong. So anyway, so he he came over here and was talking to me about Joe, and then he told me that Joe set the blender up to make that hot stuff, the hot soup, go all over me. Which is not. I mean, no, I would never do anything to harm anybody. You know yeah. me, dude. Look, I mean, be, we do prank each other a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's fun to have a little. Yeah. You know, not with any kind of physical danger. But see, at involved. that point, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking maybe you set it up for Weber. Yeah, exactly. At this point, we, because we Weber was doing going a soup. To the hospital, yeah. So. <laughs> so I was like, oh wow, he did that. So I was really mad. But Weber wanted to just talk to to Joe out here. So right. I told him, okay. Joe just happened to be talking outside, so I was like, he's outside. He went to talk to him, so I didn't... So you guys talked? Well, yeah, I you can that, say that. That's the big thing. When he said that he was going to talk to him, I kind of wanted to hear it. Yeah. What they were going to talk about. Because I was expecting Joe not to be receptive to anything. I was expecting Joe to actually hit him or something. Yeah, because so, you're kind of caught in the middle because Weber's your friend. Yeah. And Joe's also your friend, so yeah. it's like... I yeah. would have throw punched him. I wanted to throw punch him. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> why? He seemed pretty awesome to me. Well, see that—that's the thing that I didn't under exactly, and that's why Even, I didn't understand where this I mean, was I, coming from. I met from. him twice, but nobody sees. He was really cool that, both times for me. Right, but, but that's just—that's my opinion. Yeah, right. The way I saw it was he's been overly cool to everybody else besides me, and he was very condescending, kind of almost crapping on me. The, every everything that he said was, you could take one of two ways. And I get it. He's your old school friend. I understand. Like, if you know somebody for years, you take you. you right. So take I was it, taking it, it one way. Right. He was coming in here. I maybe I was a little friend, right? So I get that. I was a little defensive. You know how I can get. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm sensitive. I'm defensive. I get that. But it, it happens so often and over and over again. Like, Sometimes too sensitive. I agree. No, I agree. I agree. 110 percent with that. But it happens so often that I was like, it's, it can't be just me. I knew it wasn't just me. But I also want to make things work for you because it's your buddy. I'm over here. You know what I mean? I don't want to make things weird no, for you. you all you want to do. The, you want to step on Larry's toes. No, it would be like him making it weird if I brought you over. You know what I mean? All people want to do is, is hang out with each other and have a good time. And that's exactly how you are with everybody that comes over to the lounge. Right. And, 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 and so I was ready. He came back here and I was like, you know what? I'll suck it up. It is what it is. Right. It's over. But then he started throwing down lines like, you know, you have a reputation. You just immediately got like a, a bad vibe. Well, this is from when we first started, but when he came out here, he was like, look, he's like, you know, you have a, you have a better reputation now. 
with uh, with Larry. Like he, he he's ready. To, he, you're going. I'm ready to make this Weber and right. Larry's lounge. Is what he said to me. Weber and Larry's lounge. He oh, oh, he wanted to take, get me so you out. I feel like Weber's playing good. No, he was. He wanted to get me out of the house right. to get him to get himself into the videos because I think that you know you watch these videos and you grew up with them. Well, not grew up with, but you know him being younger. And now he's like, man, I could be, I could be Joe. I could do what Joe does. You know, what I mean, I would appreciate it more. I'd be more receptive to what you know. I wouldn't treat Larry the way Joe treats me. So he came in. You don't just think you're being a little paranoid. No, no, it's a fact. He, you should have heard me. He set me well, up. That's that's that's, that's the, the whole, whole thing. No, he set me up. It's all. He, I don't know. You have oh, he, to tell me. He yeah, came yeah. in. A, I, was, I was trying to. I was standing on the corner there, so I got to hear everything that was being said, and Weber was basically saying he wants Joe out. Yeah, like he was doing all this stuff on purpose. Yeah, you heard this too. Yeah, I heard him no, saying to Joe that he's been he's been doing know. this on I mean, purpose you should know to get know. Joe out of here. And he was he, he even said the thing about the blender that was a total lie just to get me mad at Joe to kick Joe out of here. Right. And I'll tell you what, it was really close to working. It really was. He's smart. He's manipulative. I and, and look, I can understand where he's coming from to an extent. Like I see. I, I can get it. I can see where jealousy is a hell of a thing, right? So you do something when you're jealous, you're not thinking right. Yeah. You're not thinking straight. And I get it. Like he wants to be part of this. It's awesome. I'm lucky to be part of this. But he could have done it in a different way. He could have been part of this without. Like Kev wants to be. You know, you're you're part of this right now. You were here with us, but you never ever try to get me out or get Larry out. So I mean, you can hang out more. No, because I wouldn't. We exist. would have nowhere to hang out. I wouldn't out, exist but. without you guys. So. Well, that's what I don't understand. Is like why? Like I've known Weber for a long time, and I never. I never saw him, like he was being the same to you as I, th I thought that he was like to everybody else, that he was talking to I you. I just don't understand his angle. It's like, yeah, I could see him not personally liking you, but like. What is that supposed to mean? No, because well, I, mean, I, I feel like I'm likable. No, he, you I, are. I, you're I, very likable. He's just you. saying that, that all of a sudden, he could have a problem I, with you. I don't understand what his, his whole reasoning would be like to like cross Larry. He wasn't. He wasn't trying to cross Larry. He was trying to get me out. So I feel like he was trying to convince Larry I'm this guy. Yeah, but he's, he's got to know that Larry likes you. Yeah, but if he's painting his right, right. So he's painting this picture of okay, this is how Larry feels about Joe. Let me kind of twist this and make Larry think a certain way about Joe. And what he was doing here, he was he he was making me bury myself. All he was trying to do is stay stay in his good graces with you, get us to make up. Just making you look bad. And then all of a sudden, we're in videos together, and then we're hanging out, and we're, and, and, we're, and we're chilling and grilling together, we're doing this together, doing that together, and then he'll, he would have started making me look worse and worse and worse. Right. To the point where you're like, it's definitely him, he's definitely got to go. Right. And then he looks like, whatever looks like the hero, he's just right. got hanging out. Right. I, I, you know, I think it was, he could have, and, and who knows, maybe he came in a situation not knowing where I was at mentally, but he saw a weakness in me. I mean, I mean honestly, I think it kind of sucks because I kind of like this company. I mean, I'm. He is a I, good guy. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, mean, I thought he was in. Well, obviously, not. No, no. no I mean, don't I'm not, give me dirty I mean, looks. Look, I'm not giving you dirty look. I'm just saying, I'm giving you like, like a really look. It wasn't no, dirty. Yeah, I, don't, I don't want to be right. I didn't beef be with him, but maybe he was just. But I'm your boy, though. You should. You are my room. boy, but I'm. But like, if somebody came up to you and shat. I'm always open to making new crap friends. all over you. I'd be pissed off, and because you're my dude. Right? Same thing with you. Yeah. I I know, and you're pissed off. I get it. I'm not in the same I would handle that myself. Yeah, but I didn't. And I tried. And I don't. And I'm. I tried. What I'm saying is, is he's a good guy, but I don't know where that came from, Joe. I've never seen him like that with anybody else. Look, it, your life circumstances can make you do a lot of dumb things, right? I've done dumb things in the situation that we're in right now, and, and I have been the best house guest or friend at all time. We made right. bad mistakes, so everybody's human. So maybe he, instead of you know, he saw a weakness in me and decided to capitalize on it and wanted to get me out altogether, or maybe he could have figured out. Well, maybe the, we could have all been friends, and he could have just came here. And like, I wouldn't have gotten. I, I'm sure my jealousy probably kicked in a little bit right away, right? I'm sure it probably yeah. started from day one. I just couldn't. I, I, I never, think he just saw it and decided to play right. on it. And I never tuned in, like, because I've heard him talk to you and everything, but I never took it as like he was talking down to you or anything like that. Maybe he wasn't right away. Then maybe it was just me imagining it, and he just saw it as an opportunity to make did himself. You, did you ever think that he was talking down to Joe? No, did but it, like, it like I'd only hung out a few times with him, but like, yeah, because he did talk. I didn't pay bit. attention a whole lot how yeah there was little interactions with Joe. I mean, yeah, it was like, like one I, time we were all yeah. together. Well, I heard him talk a little different to you than like there was a certain way that he talked. You remember, you, Tom? You know what? How he would talk like um, yeah. Well, like, like he was well, even the other day when we were, we were hanging with your sister. 
Like, what would he, what would he... But he was like, oh, hey, I'm no, whatever, no, you know? Right, like, like, which... like, 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 first of all, you don't know my situation. You don't know if maybe this is a girl of mine. Right, like, right. You don't know which... where I'm at in life. The no, people were talking about his tone, how it was more like, well, toes. I see right. what you mean there, Joe, but I don't necessarily agree with yeah, everything right. that you were saying with that. Yeah, that's a, that's what I'm talking about, like how he would talk like that, and then Joe would be like, it's like, you really grind my gears. It's like, I don't like what you're saying. Do you see how condescending he is towards me? He grinds my gears, you remember? Now look, just because we're grinding gears doesn't mean that the gears need to be grinded, alright? I mean, he came in like wildfire. This is like... A play or something? Well, I don't understand. No, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like you, I mean, I, you nailed it pretty good, but he's Weber to a T. I feel like you nailed it pretty good. Oh, you did a good impression. No Weber. Can't end like this, guys.